It may be obvious that butter and cheese come from milk, and milk does in fact come from cows, well generally speaking anyway. Strangely perhaps, cows don't actually produce milk unless they are nursing, and will continue to produce milk if they are milked every day. If you want to have any milk left for your household, you need to keep the cow away from the calf until milking time, and you may need the calf to help you get the milk flowing. Once the cow is near her calf, she will naturally give milk. Milk outside a fridge will go off pretty quick, especially if it's hot. Yogurt, butter and cheese are ways of adding shelf life to dairy products, but yogurt is also used as a raw ingredient for butter and cheese making. Some milk pasteurized by boiling is kept for drinking, and the rest for making curd. A small amount of yogurt is added to boiled milk and left to curdle overnight. There are a number of different types of rural butter churn in Bhutan, one which quite resembles the ones of Victorian England, and the one here, hand powered by ropes. A similar technique for turning the paddle can also be seen used by carpenters for hand lathes and drills. After the butter forms, it should be washed to remove the sour whey. The whey is slowly heated to release a kind of cottage cheese the Bhutanese call datsi. Datsi is one of the most important ingredients in the Bhutanese kitchen, part of the national dish, emadatsi, chili cheese. Butter is often boiled to produce ghee, which is used for cooking or just added to boiled rice for additional flavour. And ghee fuels butter lamps, lit during prayer and offerings to gods.